This week, I was playing Clue with my oldest daughter, Sienna, all right? So she, we got to the end, near the end of the game, playing Clue, trying to figure out, is it Colonel Mustard in the living room with the revolver, whatever? And I realized she only had two choices left for the, the, for the location, and then she was going to win. And I had made some mistakes, and I was a disaster. I still had four or five locations. I had two weapons. I didn't know what happened. Maybe she cheated. I'm not sure. So... I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh my gosh. So I realized she's only got one more turn before she knows exactly what's gonna be in that envelope. And so I look at her and I'm looking at my list, I'm like, and I said, she, she goes to roll the dice and I said, man, next round I'm gonna make a guess. And she looked at me, she goes, you can't make a guess. You, don't, you have like four or five locations and two or three weapons you don't know. What do you mean you can't make a guess? I said, you know what? If I wait for you to make a guess, I'm gonna lose. So I'm gonna make a guess and take a chance. She said, but you'll lose. I said, maybe, but I'm going to take a chance or else I'm going to sit back and just watch you win. That's not going to happen. And she goes, hmm, okay. Uh, okay, then I'll make a call here. I'm like, be careful. You got two choices with locations. You got a 50-50 shot here. And she's like, I know, 50-50, okay. So she says, okay, it's this, this, this. She opens the envelope, boom, first one's right. Boom, second one's right. Flips over the third one, eh, wrong. Winner, loser. All right. So I got up in her face. I said, you lost. What's wrong with you? And she looks at me and she said, oh man, I lost. I can't believe I lost, but I had to make a call. I said, by the way, I wasn't going to make a guess. That would be the dumbest move on the planet. Why would I make a guess? The chances are far, far against me. And she goes, well, what do you mean you weren't going to make a guess? What did you lie to me? And I said, yes. And this was a whole principle of life she had to learn. See, here's what I did. I said, here's what I did, honey. I trapped you. I put out some bait and you bit and now you're hanging in my office, all right? On a piece of wood. I trapped you, I baited you, hook, line, and sinker, you're done. I never would have guessed, are you crazy? And she's started to cry. All right, so that's fatherhood. The point is you put a bait out, you try to trap people. If they bite, you snare them. That's what Jesus is saying Peter is doing to him. You are a snare. You're trying to trap me. There's bait that you have out and you want me to bite it and I'm not going to bite it because the biting would be, hey, you're going to suffer. I want you to, you're not going to suffer. You can bring in the kingdom the easy way. You can take the easy route, Jesus. You don't have to go to the cross. See, this is the temptation of all of our lives. Take the easy way. Don't take the difficult way. And one of the principles of Christianity, listen to me, as you try to begin to discern out whether God is calling you to something or not to something, it usually is that he's calling you to do the hard thing, not the easy thing. This is what's fascinating about pastoral ministry. People bring to me prayer requests when things are difficult, when things are hard. Hey, I got a money situation. Hey, I have a, a sickness situation. Hey, I don't know what to do about this. I don't know whether I should do this. So the prayer requests come in about all the bad stuff. You know what the Bible says? Oftentimes you are in the most, uh, you're the closest in, 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 to Satan and evil and mistakes and awfulness. Not when life is difficult and causing, it's when it's easy. See, Jesus is going, listen, one of the hardest things for you is when it's easy. That's when you're closest to Satan. Just take the easy route, Jesus. I never get prayer requests for people going, you know what? I got offered this promotion at work. It's three times the money. Can you pray and see if I should take it? None of you do that. You don't even pray about it. You just take it as part of the evolution of your life. And what Jesus is saying is sometimes that's exactly what Satan wants you to do. It's during the good times that he's close to you.